What's up, everybody? How's it going? I am running down to the store to pick up some hamburger meat. I think we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs tonight. And we are going to go fancy. Uh, normally get normally for spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, we'd go get the hamburger meat at Walmart. But today I'm going to go get it from Max. They got that premium hamburger meat. I'm going to see if we can tell a difference in the meatballs. I think we'll be able to. We can, you can tell the difference in the hamburger meat when we make hamburgers, but I've never used it to make spaghetti or, uh, well, I've never used it to make meat sauce or meatballs for the spaghetti. I did cut, cook something new the other night for the first time. I cooked some gumbo. Man, it was good. We ate, we ate on that for three days. We had, uh, it had chicken in it, shrimp, and sausage. The Hillshire beef sausage. Man, it was good. Everybody liked it. Now, let me tell you what we did. I got a little lazy on the cooking. Instead of going out and buying a whole chicken and pressure cooking it, I went to Sam's and bought a rotisserie chicken and pulled that apart and stuck it in the gumbo. Let me tell you, you can't go wrong doing that. I mean, that's the way to go. Five bucks for, that, for a whole chicken and those chickens are big. Paid five bucks for it, already cooked. That's how you do it right there. Yeah, you just, and, and it's, it's real easy to make. I just, of course the chicken's already cooked. You don't cook the shrimp. But then the sausage, you get that, get a pack of Hillshire beef sausage and uh, I boiled it for about 30 minutes and then scooped it out of the water so I wouldn't get all that oil in it and all that grease scooped it out put that all all that in there the gumbo mix it's that Louisiana gumbo mix And it takes that and two quarts of water. So when I was ready, I put everything in there. I put the uh, I put the shrimp in there and put the shrimp in there raw and bring it to a boil and boil it for about four minutes and it cooks the shrimp perfect. And then you throw the chicken in there and the sausage because they're already cooked. And then, man, let me tell you, you ready to eat. Put it over some rice. And then, of course, we had to have club crackers with it. That's what my daughter wanted, so we had the club crackers. But, yeah, hadn't been up to a whole lot today. Been, uh, made a math video been working on a spreadsheet this morning for our putt-putt group and we can keep up with our rounds we can enter our scores in and it gives us a bunch of statistics and stuff about our about our round so we were talking about that so I made up a spreadsheet and I just finished that spreadsheet today See, I didn't do the date and time and temperature. Let me 
get up here so I can look at my watch. It is November 5th, it's Sunday, 2023. It's 2.04 in the afternoon. And it's 81 degrees and sunny, and man, does it feel good out here. thinking about it hit that subscribe button try to build up some subscribers and there's another guy that does bike videos he does real good videos rip one outdoors he's almost to a thousand subscribers go to his channel and subscribe to his channel so he can get over a thousand He works real hard on his videos, you can tell. And he puts a lot of them out. <coughs> yeah, we got about, we got two weeks left in the fall quarter and then we'll be done. We'll get, I think we get off about a week. Yeah, we get off for about a week, I think. And uh, then we'll, we'll start on that winter quarter. And we got some nice breaks during the winter quarter though. So that two weeks for Christmas is always nice. I don't, I don't guess uh, Caroli Park's open yet. They're uh, on their Facebook page. They're they're putting on there to pay you twenty dollars for the season pass for the Christmas lights. <clears throat> but if you and that you had until the end of October to do that and then after that it was $30 and I guess you could just go in there as much as you wanted to look at the lights and drive around but everybody was saying well I'm not going to spend that money I don't know if y'all going to be open you know they were supposed to open I think sometime in October that bridge was supposed to be done Last I, last I looked, it was still closed, so people's not going to spend that money. And not knowing if they're going to be able to go see the lights. And they were asking, well, if y'all don't open, we get a refund. So... got their Dr. Peppers on sale. I can't get any right now, but I'm on my bike. No, the Dr. Pe the Dr. Pepper sale is over. But they do have a case for $8. That's a good price. I 
I think we need some spaghetti mix too. Let's see. I don't know where that is. Maybe down here on the spices. Thick and zesty. That's what you want. I'll go ahead and get two of them. Bring them in the ground chuck. And that's all we need. I tell you, it's amazing that one pound of meat. It'll make enough meatballs to feed us all. All right, let's go pay for it. All right, nobody stole the bike. Yeah, I tell you, I got a, I got a good recipe for meatballs. <clears throat> I just, I just started making meatballs not too long ago. <clears throat> My mom would make them, and they were good. And uh, my brother sent me a recipe, and so I've been using that. My mom would take a, take a slice of bread and break it up and put it in there, but that recipe said you could use breadcrumbs. So we used breadcrumbs and I think we put, I think we put milk in it and egg, and an egg. Man, it's, man, they're good, I tell you. And then I just pop them in the oven. I make up the meatballs. I was making, I was making where I can make 12, 12 meatballs, and then I started just making nine and making them bigger. I think I like the bigger ones better. But you cook them for like nine minutes, and then I roll them over, and cook them for another nine minutes, bake them in the oven. Oh man, they're good, tender. If I think about it, when I'm editing the video, I'll I'll put a link to the recipe in the description. <clears throat> but I tell you, I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but. Cooking's the easy part. The hardest part's deciding what you want to eat for supper. That's what that's what we always struggle with. And it's like that if, if we decide to go out and eat. That's the hardest decision. What do you want to eat? Because as you know, nobody wants to eat the same thing. Well, let's go here. Ah, oh, I don't want to really eat there. 
All right, well, where do you want to go? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, look at the glass on the sidewalk. Mm. Try to get home and see if I can't watch the end of the Saints game. When I left, they were winning 17 14. Hopefully, they can hold off the. They're playing Chicago. Hopefully, they can hold them off and get another win. Man, it's a beautiful day today. I tell you. I tell you that that time change was nice get the extra hour of sleep I still ended up waking up about an hour before I normally do so I don't guess I got my extra hour of sleep So, we're just about home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.